corner dahil doon sa header na yun. But sinigurado lang nila dahil baka may makaabot pa. The player mula sa Biliman. So, makita natin yung Laos has been playing very well on the defensive side. The back line has been tested. Tested. And uh, generally has uh, passed. Uh, passing with flying colors yan, no? Just one bad mark to show for this game. Lots of men forward. Paras Diliman could not get the, uh, could not pull the trigger there. Pero foul ulit para sa Laos. At hindi magugustuhan ng ating referee, uh, Iloso. Complaints coming from Laos. And uh, we'll just give them a warning there. Buti na lang kamo yung mga foul na uh, binibigay ng Laos. May kalayuan. Not really, uh, just hindi uh, masyadong dikit doon sa box. So, it's not as dangerous as uh, the others. It's, nakikita natin, forced na kumawa ng, uh, na indirectly yung mga attempt. That's right. That's right. So, keeping it uh, really away from the box. And uh, making it easier for... Speaking of indirectly, ito hindi indirectly. This went straight through. Through the wall, through the keeper's hands. And it is a... 2-0 advantage para sa Diliman. Yikes. <laughs> we were just talking about, <laughs> just that. talking about that. May kalayuan eh, pero nakahanap pa rin ng paraan eh. Sinasaya pa naman namin na. Look at this. Yeah, an easy save it, for... Pumukha yung pader. Let's look at that again. It went through the wall because the wall moved. Oh, well, actually, it curved. It, yeah, curved. it curled back in because the wall was not big enough. It went just right on the edge of that wall. So there was a um, defensively that wasn't spot on in terms of the wall and actually having an extra man to just take on that, that small space okay. in between. Really, you're the keeper. You tell, you, ikaw naman na nagsasabi kung saan yung wall. Saan yung mali doon? Is it the keeper's fault? Because that's about the spot that he's expecting the ball to come from. You're looking at an angle coming from there. No, basically, uh, it, it could have been... Uh, I mean, the uh, extra field players should have gone down and taken over that space because he has formed this wall. I think it was a five-man wall. Could have been easy, but another was another I think, yeah, I think it was set a four-man wall. Yeah. What but about those five what or six? Eh, yung ano really? Yung uh, isa niyang player, uh, the man at the, on the edge of that wall actually move, move. Well, I was looking at it at, the, at another angle. He he moved to a different direction actually, so uh -huh. it kind of curved through him. So it, it, it curved on his right. Yes, on his and right. he moved to his left. He moved to his left. So, so mas lalo pang na, ano, na, na exposed yung, no, yung area. Nonetheless, Diliman uh, doubles their advantage. 2-0 na sa ngayon. So now a lot of pressure para sa Laos to find that goal. Kung kanina, isa lang hinahabol nila. Ngayon, dalawa na. So despite the 2-0 lead, um, probably thinking what Coach Bob Salvation is thinking, whether these are convincing goals, considering one is the penalty and two was an error from the keeper of Laos. Because yeah, uh, he was there, no? He was trying to put it in his yeah, bread basket just uh, with uh, underneath his arm. Yeah, so I, I think the positioning of how he tried to catch that ball was just a little too awkward for him that it led to to him actually letting go. That was a lot of pressure on them now here in the last 16 minutes and change. Para makuha yung kalamangan. On the other hand, Diliman, they just want to stay atop the standings. Ngayon, nasa ibabaw sila ng uh, second division. Uh, right, just right ahead of Pachanga. Pero they have a game in hand and they'll have two games in hand after this match. And that's why it's very crucial that, especially for a game like this, knowing that they're playing against a, um, a team from the bottom, from bottom of the division, will need to, s to continue the winning ways. It's winning ways. Pachanga, who are pretty much on the hunt for the, for the, first, divi for the first division placement, will need to step it up. At isa pa, ang layo ng kalamangan ng Pachanga sa kanila when it comes to goal difference. That's right. They, they, they've got a difference of about 
it seems 14 or so. That's right. That's no, right. No, no, correct, correct. I'll correct that. Nine goals. Nine goals. So that's why it's crucial that that they will probably they need to go for that win against Pachanga next week. And they're going to need some more goals. That's what Diliman is looking for. They're looking for another one here, but unable to control that. Was Diliman pagkakataro doon na napakalaki. In this is this see from Pong. Good back heel right there. Back heel. Santos passes it up. It, it was just behind him, no? Yung uh, passer. Right. Right. And uh, you yeah, can yeah. see there that uh, the opportunity was there. Another one. Para sa Diliman. Hindi lang nila makuha yun. So they're getting good chances right now in the second half. A lot of threats inside the box for Diliman. Down at the moment is uh, Patlunag. Para sa Laos. He's been quite busy as well. Ito si uh, Patlubag from uh, the uh, defense ng Laos. I think she's getting Maguad Chakay Frimpong. Madali mo siya makita kasi buhok. Ito yung yung buhok. He's the one who actually stopped Frimpong in that <laughs> earlier. <laughs> kanina. And this was the uh, attempt at goal earlier. You can see that it was cramps behind uh, the, the, the attempt, was uh, or the pass was behind the player of uh, Diliman. And also, si uh, Patlunag uh, went down. More changes. Tuum para kay Kalunsod para sa Diliman. So we're already pinag-uusapan, pinag-uusapan natin. Oh, ito, itong Diliman. They're gonna get a lot of players coming from UP, from the champion team. But what about the guys that are going to be displaced? What will that do for team chemistry? Well, it really depends on the... Uh, because you can see that they have a very, very deep lineup. And Diliman has a very, very deep lineup. And of course, you're playing in the second division, or even if you're playing in the first division, it will not disrupt the chemistry of, of the team. There will always be players who will come in and will blend well. There will be no problem for Diliman as these UP players, are Valmayor, Octavio, etc. These guys are all um, accustomed to the system. Of Diliman. But you know, we've been talking too much about Diliman and their lineups and everything. But what about the other teams like oh. Pachanga, Aguila? I'm sure they're beefing up their, their lineup as well. I know that Aguila, for one, is uh, picking up some guys that uh, some former players from Ateneo that are going to uh, start uh, wearing uh, Aguila colors for, uh, That's for the right. stretch run. Some of the players who have played in the UFL Cup, some of the collegiate players will now be play going back. And we'll be playing with uh, with Aguila for this season. Because it's quite clear what quality players they're getting. Kilala na, no? Dahil nga galing yan sa kanilang uh, farm system. Or maybe you can, sorry, yeah. you can't call it a farm system. But uh, from uh, their their school. Diba? And, and and it, yes, it's really maganda talaga tingnan. And considering na yun nga, may, may sort of like a development or a step after college heading into the Diliman FC supported by the school. And you know very well that these are all standouts and are all products of UP. And um, that's something that that uh, even like for Aguila, even Ateneo should try to get into it to to be able to link up. Plead mo. Pleading mo. <laughs> dati dati inupisa lang namin kami kami lang sige tinista ka o oh, sige laro ka sige na ito na Laruka. pagkakataon mo na oh. <laughs> ilabas mo yung sama ng loob mo, mo. <laughs> <laughs> pero ano ah uh, yan uh, napagkit na uh, Aguila magpapalakas uh, uh, Diliman magpapalakas but the question is itong itong Pachanga we're hearing that uh, they've got some targets as well and, and they're, they're not afraid to actually go into the market and find some players that uh, that can uh, suit up for them, uh, especially 
since uh, itong uh, pachanga nga is uh, good if you look at on a game per game basis sila dapat ang leading dito sa tournament dahil sila wala pang talo ang diliman may draw na to eh. yeah, that's why so you can never be too sure after this when the second round starts on how the teams will fare alam mo naman anything ha anything can happen in the league as, as 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 clearly shown by what's happening in the first division early on we see stallions taking on the lead in the current first division and now they're at fourth oh, marami. Yung, yung stallion daw, ah. may, may, they're also going to get some guys That's right uh from uh, during this uh, transfer period alam, for those that are uh unaware uh, as uh, we see that attempt by uh, laos for those that are unaware, uh, currently, ang uh, UFL po eh, may transfer window. And uh, during that period, that's when you can sign new players uh, or, or tweak your lineup. And uh, some, dyan mo makikita, eh, some teams that want to make that stretch run or, 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 or the like. That's right. And, in, and anything can happen. First division players can opt to, 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 to leave and go to the second division and vice versa. So anything can happen. In order to to build, like, sir, a lot of talent right now in the sec second division, a lot of players. Alam alam mong pwede sila maglaro sa first division. Change there. Ang uh, pasok si Kasem para kay Lisa. Just ten minutes remaining. Uh, starting to look bleak. Para dito sa kampanya ng Laos na laban na ito. Trying to uh, search forward in the standings where they're stuck in the middle right now. Diliman, on the other hand, trying to stay atop the standings. Frimpong. Big cross from Frimpong. Trying to be headed down. Diliman tries to keep it in. They're able to do so. Cross uh, unable to get through. Bangaan mm. sa kanto, sa dulo. And uh, man down for Diliman. That is... Mm. He got in front of that play of that Laos player. And momentum on Laos' side. Collision. May oras pa dito para sa Laos, pero kailangan bilisan na nila. Kailangan mag-all out na sila, no? knowing that they have eight minutes remaining. And, two and, they, zero down. and they need two goals. And they need two goals. So They're they looking for the first here. Some space. The first and then the attempt, and it does go through. Ito na yung unang goal. That lead is cut into half. Exactly what we just said. <laughs> And they are making a game of it. Etong Laos, down two nothing, finds their first goal here in the 83rd minute. So is Jukes uh, will be will, will Jukes be credited for that goal? Yes, yes, it, yes, uh, yes. It, it, all the work was done earlier. Para dito sa Laos. That was Marvin Angeles. Yes, all the work done by him. And then Dukes uh, cleaning up the mess there. So, isa na lang ang hinahabol ng Laos dito, ang natitirang uh, oras. Eh, kulang-kulang, o oh, lagpas lang, ng uh, anim na minuto, dagdag pa natin ng injury time. So, there is still hope para sa Laos. So, makita natin, out of the three goals that have been scored in this whole game, the goal of Laos was pretty much the clear chance as compared to the two goals of Dileman. So, we will see how this goal of how this goal of Laos will change the momentum. Angeles. Oh, this is a good ball that will open up things on that left side. Looking for a good cross. Never was able to curl it back in. A wasted opportunity. That was uh, 